2017. I sat on a bench at Harriet Woods College. Closed my eyes. And I heard a voice. I asked a question in my own mind about spiritual healing. And this voice said, I'm not the divinity, but I'm a voice connected to the divinity. Such a profound statement to begin with. Make of it what you want. But from that moment became a dialogue between myself and who I believe is Harry Edwards. I began to write all that dialogue up over the next two or three years. It gave me a philosophy that I'm still learning trying to make sense of and that's the truth and yet some days I open some of the things that I've been writing and something in the words that were spoken give me comfort sometimes they make sense to me and sometimes they don't And so I wanted to share some of that philosophy with you. So perhaps wherever you are now, take a little time, sit down with a cup of tea or close your eyes, wherever you are, and have a listen. Just settling in. Harry spoke and began with a really profound statement. He said, When you really understand that everything has a divine purpose and you place your trust in that divine purpose, only then can you make peace with life. with the healing of the incurable. An intelligence superior to you and wisdom enters into the picture who knows the way to human wisdom. You're so busy looking for an answer and yet nature gives you an answer. Just be. Take the idea of energy existing first and foremost. And from the concept of energy as light, you can bring forward the light and direct the light to another whose light has gone out. You don't need to prove anything to anyone. You need to experience the energy as light and that in itself is enough. The light, when given chance, can and will flow through a mind whose journey has become clouded. And the journey 
was always about the awareness of the light and the connecting of the light is a spiritual journey. Become the light. Meditation is one way to open the door to allow that light to come in. You have to become familiar with its presence first. When familiarity becomes comfortable, a clear comparison is given that filters to the mind. And this energy is full of light, sometimes broken, but never completely eradicated. And can you connect to the light daily? And if you did for three months, what would happen? Would it become familiar? Become the change that you want to see in others? Place your trust, entwined within the energy that flows through this music and eventually through you. Stop. You don't need to be doing. If you spent as much time connecting as you do doing, you would be directly connected to the divinity. You would become a clear channel through which the light of God transcends. Look up at the sky. See those clouds? They don't need to know where they're going. They're just going, drifting with the air currents, only to disappear into the atmosphere, to continue a cycle of life that actually began beneath the earth that surface as rainwater. You're part of that cycle of life. The need to know should be dropped occasionally and replaced with being. There's an intelligence within nature. It lies within every seed and every creature. You can't see it with a naked eye. And you won't acknowledge its existence very often. This intelligence is the blueprint from which all creation was born. Can you acknowledge it? Can you link with it? Yes, you can. 
You're the light. And the light flows through you and every individual. It's natural. It's not special. Shift your perception. As in life, the space from which you live from defines the outcome. Greatest ambassador for change in yourself and others. Peace is the universal language of the human consciousness. It can change everything within and around you. here now. Open the door and breathe in its atmosphere. For at home you can be still. And from the stillness comes the connection to your life family. And every one of your family await your return. Your light, not stress. You've misinterpreted the events that you're currently passing through as permanent. They're not. And when you really understand that everything has a divine purpose and you place your trust in that divine purpose, only then can you make peace with life. Each day, remind yourself that the impermanence of all things physical, but also remind yourself of who you really are. You're not the mind, or to be exact, the thoughts that pass through the mind. You're a being of light, affirmed daily. I am the light of the world. Nature plays a significant role in pacifying the mental chatter. Therefore, spend more time in nature if peace of mind is truly your goal. Consciously become aware of yourself as light. Feel yourself as a conscious realm of light. Creativity comes from the awareness of the light. Creativity culminates in a mind in spirit. And inspiration is the name given often to the light bulb moments. And turning into the awareness of the light daily is the most fundamental key towards enlightenment and spiritual development here is not possible without forming a link first. Awareness of one's true nature is the first step. You are the light of the world. When you become present, the illusion of time and thought ease into the background of your current awareness. A 
everything you see. Out of the minds of men are beautiful creations, but little compare to the beauty of one's mind aligned with nature. So take your time each day to look around you, to really appreciate the time you've been allowed for today is a gift seldom appreciated by those whose minds are caught up in the striving and the resistance against all that is today. Soak up and imbibe the hidden energies within nature for what the eye doesn't see is far more important on a level that you won't fully appreciate in this realm. The truth is, spiritual consciousness governs and controls the human system. When illness forms, it since the light has dimmed. You can only remind yourself through the passage of time and mind that your current existence here and now is impermanent. That is a true statement of fact. However, to know and to really know this fact allows you to maximize the allocated time you've been gifted. Fear not, for that only clouds life's beauty. For I walk by your side every moment of every day and will ease your passage through this life as I have through all life. Remember self-love is to remember who you really are. Soul never dies. Affirm every day and once more I say to you, I am the light of this world. Sit with that conscious awareness. It is the cure for all disease and anxiety and depression. It's home here and now. It is the one constant throughout the universe. It's the one thing that never changes its form. Experience yourself as light. And then you'll understand the statements I've just given you. And through a clear mind comes clear intention. Your intention when clarified by the thoughts you think and the words you express become a channel from which not only light transfers through but energies such as wisdom, insight and abundance and many more. Clear your mind of everything else. Connect daily to the energy you desire. Start with total relief. And in the stillness lies a connection to spirit wisdom, insights and healing. And feeling your way through life is important. Gentleness and tenderness will open doors in the mind and hearts of those souls to sleep. Feeling will awaken the soul. Try not to contemplate, but to simply be more often. By becoming aware of yourself as light, 
You can take out the illusion of not being enough. The healing comes from the illumination within everyone. Human consciousness can accept its presence only through the presence of itself reflected by another's light. And spiritual healing needs no introduction to the mind and the mind can't comprehend it. The illumination of the light transmits a message of well-being amongst other hidden messages to the outer layer of the body. And the internal dialogue continues to produce changes at a cellular level. If you want to heal another, simply become aware of yourself as light. And then your presence will in itself heal, or a healthier terminology would be to awaken the illumination process within another. And so, to the illusion of time, man's greatest constructed illusionary concept. There's no such thing as time. There is only the pretense of future and past. An illusionary life exists around the man-made construct in order to create movement in an organized way. And yet the sun sets and rises each day without knowledge of time. It's a natural phenomenon that links oceans to land. It's a similar cycle governing all of nature. You're part of that cycle of existence. A leaf will form at the end of a branch and falls to the earth just at the right time without knowledge of time. When you become present, the illusion of time and thought ease into the background of your current awareness. And here we can link. The channel then opens clearer and the light energy can fill the human consciousness with its presence of its existence. To merge with that realm is a natural phenomenon that links all of nature. To live out a role as a human being does not mean including time as the governing force, as this becomes your master. Step out of that now and into presence felt. When you're in that company, you are aligned to peace, the greatest ambassador for change in yourself and others. If I said to you, all the wisdom that you ever need is that as an equivalent to a simple leaf. Use nature to teach you how to become human without the man-made illusion of time and mind. To simply be will bring fulfillment through peace. The doorway to light energy awareness and the awareness of light within is then activated. The whole of creation is connected to this natural phenomenon, which allows the sun to rise on every continent. The cycle of this is as natural to you as the breath you breathe. And both are given to you and the whole of mankind by laws governed by nature herself. 
and in her roots lies a wisdom for all mankind that can be gained through observation and then connection. And finally, by accepting that on the physical level, there's no difference between you and nature other than the form through which it's expressed. Allow nature to teach you how to live without worry of mind creating through the illusion of time and expectation. Simply be. This will remove stress and bring you peace. Learn to see your life as a story. And know there'll be times in your life as you currently know it, when sadness will permeate your conscious mind. It's at these times you can remember there's more to your story. But most importantly for every individual is to remember home. Home is a state of mind accessed through the portal of stillness. When you're still, you can feel steadiness, calmness, as you begin to ease into that next realm of existence. When you're home, you can relax, for all is as it should be now. And if you only knew the impermanence of your current existence, and once understood, lightness enters the mind state. Lightness is a form of non-attachment to the impermanence of your current existence. The journey of light is a spiritual solution to a physical realm of existence. To simply reconnect to that stillness will stop and break the chain of illusion of your current reality of existence and peace is the byproduct of that stillness and time as you know it is a precious commodity it has value in your current existence spend it wisely each moment let it bring you forward towards the light, not away. Be still and know you're no longer alone. Within every storm, there lie nutrients. There are two kinds of storms. The ones that bring change and the ones that cleanse the earth. And both are fueled by the winds of change. And these winds are governed by the laws of nature. Sometimes you can build a shelter. And sometimes you have to weather the storm. And when the winds blow the clouds carrying all the storms, all of nature is at its mercy of the wind. But don't fear it. Trust its direction. Go into nature. There are no doors there. The real doors are within your own mind. A mind filled with illusion 
memories of times gone by that act as the president for now. To close each door, you need to take time in the company of nature alone. Trust that the life you have been gifted has the divine purpose and the resonance of light will ease your pain. Open up your mind to its existence. Be still. Trust in the divine purpose of your life. After the loss of a loved one, time plays her hand as she evens out the losses with new horizons, new objectives that compensate guilt, remorse and the agonising pain of a life that was full of life, full of light, laughter and contentment. For over time, new light will pour into the cracks, open in the heart that once loved. To be open to its presence takes time. And time weaves her magic in the subtlest of ways, never heavy-handed. She lays rest upon your soul. You may feel it first in the form of relief. And the relief is always the first interpretation felt. But know that it is the first and most poignant step towards recovery. And the recovery is already mapped out and always follows a similar path. One day, pain and the grief that weighed so heavy in your heart begins to weigh less. It may never leave you completely but it will weigh less. And that means you have the energy to pick up a new cargo, one that may eventually carry you. And the passage of time will reveal insights into what matters now, what counts now and why. And that is the new form of cargo you will begin to carry. And when you open up this cargo, you will have discovered some of life's true values. And those that discover the true value of what matters will use that to take them away from a heart full of pain towards a heart full of light, laughter and love. Travel lightly, as light will be the only currency needed when all have gone and all that remains.